Hi guys, so today I am here with a new project. We are going to be making this fun folio journal book using the sounds of summer paper collection. This is such a refreshing and beautiful um, summer collection and I'm excited to get to work with this. So here I'm giving you a sneak peek of what the project is going to look like at the end. I hope that you guys are ready and let's make it. For this project, we are going to need two pieces of chipboard cut at nine by six and a quarter and one piece of nine by one and a half. We're going to glue everything down to white cardstock and then I'm going to wrap everything on fabric. So after we glue everything on cardstock, I'm just going to cut off all of the remaining around it. So then I'm using some of those leftover pieces to give more strength to my spine. So then I'm going to score on my bending lines again, the way it's easier to fold the book. So then I'm going to wrap my cover on this piece of fabric. I'm just going to glue on the inside part of the cover so I don't get any glue stains on the front. So I'm going to cover the inside of the spine and then I'm going to cut two pieces of cardstock. These are going to be cut at eight and a half by six and a quarter and we're just going to glue those on the inside covers and this is going to help us secure our fabric. I'm also going to be using my Distress ink around the book so it has more of a vintage feel. So for the folio part of the book, I'm going to cut two pieces of 8.5 by 6 inches and I'm going to score these ones at half an inch and one inch. We're going to place one on the top and one on the bottom. So then I'm cutting two pieces of seven inches by eight and a quarter 
and I'm also going to score these pieces at half an inch and one inch and we're going to add these pieces on the sides of the folio. So now I have the base of the folio and I'm just going to cover some of these pages with the beautiful design paper. We're also going to add some magnets so we can keep this section close. So now we're going to work on the inside of the folio. For this, I need a piece of 8 and a quarter by 11 inches, and I'm scoring this at 5 and a quarter and 10 and a half. We're going to fold along the score lines and we're going to add this piece on the left of the folio. So now I'm covering my pages with the design paper and since this piece was a little bit short, I decided to add a pocket and use all of my scrap pieces first. So for the pocket, I'm just going to add glue on three sides of this piece and just add it right there. Then I'm going to ink all of the white spots around it as well. Now I'm cutting the tags from the A4 paper collection and this collection comes with all kinds of tags and different elements to add into your project. So I wanted to use one of the sentiments and the small little tags and add them into my pocket. So now I'm cutting two pieces of four and three quarters by five and a half. I'm going to score half an inch along the four and three quarter inch side and we're going to place one on the top and one on the bottom of the inside of the folio as well.
And over here, I'm creating the same type of pocket to be able to use all of my scrap pieces first. So now I'm just cutting more elements from the A4 paper collection to embellish my pocket. I really like all these circle pieces. Also, I'm going to be cutting some of the 4x5 tags to add into my pocket. I'm just finishing with this side by covering all of the um, spaces with the design paper and I really love all the blue colors and the ocean theme. I'm adding this sentiment on the center of this section since I really like the message that it has. For this other side, I'm going to keep it plain. I'm just going to add my design paper. And then I'm going to cut two pieces of five and a half by eight and a half and by seven and a half. We're going to score these two pieces at half an inch. And we're gonna add these ones on the center of the folio. So I'm gonna add the large one first and then the smaller one on top. So now I'm just covering everything up with my design paper again and for some of these areas I'm going to just use my scrap pieces so I'm going to be creating pockets similar at the first one that I did. Also I do want to take the opportunity to create all kinds of pockets since this collection has a lot of different tag elements that I want to include. So for this side, I'm just using a piece of 6 inches by 12 and I'm simply folding the remaining of the page and I'm going to be creating a pocket in here as well. So finally, I'm just embellishing this with some of the elements from the 12 by 12 and we're done with the folio. So now we're gonna work on the journal part of the project. So I'm just going to select some of these beautiful design papers. I'm going to pick five of them.
So then I'm going to cut two pieces at eight and a half by 11 and fold these in half to make um, the journal pages. And for the other three pieces, I'm actually cutting them at 11 inches by 12. So I'm going to score down the bottom at eight and a half. So these pages could have a pocket included. So I'm also going to be using some 8.5 by 11 um, tea stained paper and I'm just going to fold those on half to create the pages of the journal. So then I'm folding the bottom of the pieces along the score lines and we are just going to glue the edges down so we can create the pockets before we put the book together. So then I'm going to make the pages of the book by using some of the design paper and some of the tea paper as well. I went ahead and trimmed some of these pages just a little bit so it's not um, coming out of the book. And I'm going to do one pocket page, one tea page, and one of the two normal design papers that I did without the pockets and I just really like how this is coming along. So then to put the book together, I'm going to use this paper clip um, so the pages are not moving. Then we're going to mark down the center and one and a half inches away from the top and bottom. And then I'm going to just make the holes ahead of time. And then I'm also going to create the same holes on the cover. When I make the holes for the cover, I'm going to stay half an inch away from the uh, from the back end of of the book on the spine as you can see here and so yeah so now once I have those three holes I'm going to use my thread and my needle I'm actually using some twine this time and now we're just gonna pass this through so I'm going to start down this center of um, of the of the journal I'm going to uh, make sure that the pages are not going to be moving there and then we're going to go towards the top you're going to find where your hole is and you're going to pass it through all of those sheets of paper as well and then we're going to go down the bottom And then we're going to come back to the center and finish on the inside of the book. You're going to make sure to have the strings on both sides of that center string right there so we can make a double knot. So then I'm just going to cut different elements from the paper collection to embellish my journal. I'm using most of these from the A4 uh, paper pack and it just has a lot of different elements that you can use. So 
So now that I have all those pages cut out, I'm going to start dressing up my journal. I'm going to use all these different elements to create pockets and tags and just make the journal a little bit more fun. So now I'm going to start decorating the cover. I decided to use this beautiful paper. I really like the stripes with the light blue. Also, this paper has a lot of detail. It has some music notes and little text, so it looks very vintage. I am using my brush Corduroy Distress ink throughout the project. And so now I'm just going to add this piece and create some layers using different elements from the collection. I'm using some chipboard pieces that I had left over from the cover to create some dimension into some of these uh, different elements. I always like to play around with volume and depth, so this is the perfect way to do that.
And to finish up, I'm just going to be adding some of these beautiful metal charms that I had on my stash and also some of these uh, beautiful flowers as well. I think that just gives that um, beautiful romantic look that I was going for and I really love this paper collection. I can't wait to start adding uh, my pictures into this book. So I really like how this project came along. I hope that you guys like it as well. And I hope that you want to try one for yourself. I want to thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.